to dismantle the very delusion and illusion of evil fables. Amen? Amen. I'm trying to make the Bible look bad. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to make the Bible look good today. And we're going to show that our Bible is true. It's my love letter. It's the, I mean, not my love letter. It's the love letter my father sent to me. All 66 books is the love letter that God has sent to his people. And we love our God. And everything that's in that book is true. God tell you the bad stuff they do, the good stuff they do, everything. Everything that anyone has done, God will tell you about it. The good stuff and the bad stuff. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we serve a God that is truthful. We don't, need to, we don't serve a God that is a liar. Amen. He's truthful. He even tell the truth about the devil. Mm. And the devil don't want you to know the truth. <laughs> the horns of hell worship a false Christ and false ideology. Amen? Amen. Are we ready, my brother? Yes, sir. Come on. The worship of man through cunning fables. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 3 through 7. And it says... As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, uh -huh. when I went into Macedonia, uh -huh. that thou mightest charge some uh -huh. that they teach no other doctrine. They teach no other doctrine. Neither give heed but to... They teach the truth. Amen. All right? Amen. Okay, keep going. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies. Don't, don't listen to all this, you know, you from this one and from that tribe or, or from that... No, no, no. We are one in Christ. Amen. We are one in Christ. There's no black, there's no white, there's no green, no yellow. We are all one in Christ. Uno in Cristo. One in Christ. Amen? Get that straight. Go ahead. Which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. You see what it does? It causes problem in your mind. It brings about doubt. You want to be exceptional. <laughs> you know, you want to be better than the other person. In Christ, I am no, I'm not better than you. Or you're not better than me. me. Amen? Amen? You get it? Amen. So there's no one greater than... We're all equal under the, the banner of Christ. Amen. Salvation is unique. Because it make everyone, rich, poor, <laughs> equal. Equal. As far as your bank book is a different story. But we equal under Christ. Amen? Amen. Come on, read my brother. So do. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart. Uh -huh. And of a good conscience. Uh -huh. And of faith unfeigned. From which some have, having swerved, have turned aside unto vain jangling. Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. Mm -hmm. Sincere faith is the wellspring of love. Some have missed the mark. Some have turned aside unto vain jangling. Right? That's what it says? Right? Okay. Vain talk, which means I would say, say, tell a story that's not true. And you know it's not true. Amen? Pain jangling. Stuff that don't, it's not true. But we, be, we want to believe a lie to make us feel good. Amen? So you put a jingling behind it. I want like a little song behind it. You know? God is a good God. And He don't want us to be deceived. Amen? Which means to talk about vain talk. Vain talk, like gossiping. That's vain talking. Amen? Amen. Vain talk. Empty declar declamation or declaration. Amen? Amen? So we need to be very careful. We need to be very, very careful. Amen? Amen? Now, let's move to some good stuff. Let's move to some good stuff. We're going to be dealing with Queen of Sheba. And Solomon. Remember fables. Remember fables. And vain talk. We're going to expose 
false ideology under fable. See, people resting their soul under fable and don't have no knowledge of it. As a Rastafari, I did not know of these fables. I did not know it was fable. I thought it was true. So I was deceived to believe that what was being spoken to me or, 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 or was, uh, what it was trying to uh, uh, explain to me was the truth. But now, as a Christian, I know now it was fables. Amen? Amen. This is the fable of Queen Asheba and Solomon. How the Rastafarian believed that they had all sorts of you know, relationship. They had relationship. And we're going to expose that they, I believe they did have relationship. Amen? Amen. Read my brother. First Kings chapter 10 verses 1 through 9. Now we are hearing the truth. Amen. This is the truth. This is coming from the love letter that God has sent to man. This is the truth. After this, we're going to discover the lie. Come on. And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones. And when she, had, and when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions. There was not anything hid from the king, which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom, and the house that he had built, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his servants, and the attendance of his ministry of his ministers, and in their apparel, and his cupbearers, and his ascent by which he went up unto the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was the true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not the words until I came, and my eyes had seen it. So she didn't believe. Does this sound like somebody uh, was looking for a relationship? No. According to what I used to believe, is that Queen of Sheba and, so and Solomon had sexual union. That's how we get uh, hell, hell is Selassie. Amen? Through that union. Through the child that was developed through that union. Amen? There was a certain king that was developed through that union according to Rastafari system. But we are discovering that she never went there for sexual relationship. She was impressed with his knowledge. Do I, if I'm impressed with your knowledge, does that mean I'm coming to have sex with you? So how do we read into things that's not there? False ideology. Amen. Come on, read. And behold, the half was not told me uh -huh. thy wisdom and prosperity your wisdom and your prosperity sir, exceeded the fame which I heard. It exceeded all what they were saying. Matter of fact, what they have said to me, it's not doing justice. It did not do justice. Because what I'm looking at is greater than what it was explaining to me. Amen? Come on. Happy are thy men. Happy are these thy servants. So he's teaching her how to govern your country. <laughs> wow, where I got here. How to govern your country and keep people happy. And the only way that Solomon was able to do that, there was if you read his life, after he finished the temple, God asked him, the, 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 the father asked him, God, the father asked him, what do you want? Because he built the temple for his, his father, gave him the material. His father couldn't, David couldn't build the temple because his hand was filled with blood. So God said, your son going to build me a temple. So David provided all the material for Solomon to build the temple. So Solomon completed the temple. And as soon as they completed the temple, the Bible said the glory of the Lord came into the temple. And asked Solomon, what do you want? And Solomon said, I want wisdom to govern your people. And he said, because you didn't ask for riches, I'm going to give you riches. Amen? Amen? So she didn't understand the agreement that Solomon made with 
God. Where God gave him the wisdom to govern his people. So the things that she was observing and watching, it was really because of the wisdom that God had given Solomon how to govern a nation. See, you need wisdom from God to govern a nation. You don't need a political party. You don't need this one, that one. You need God to guide you because you are leading people. You don't need God to guide you to lead sheep and goats. They will listen to you no matter what you do. But people is a different story. Hmm. And she recognized that the people that Solomon governed was happy. Like in anything. All the resources was there. Amen? Amen. Come on, my brother. Happy are thy men. Huh. Happy are these thy servants which stand continually before thee and that hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which delighted in thee uh -huh. to set thee on the throne of Israel. Uh -huh. Because the Lord loved Israel forever. Ooh, how did she know that? But I ain't going to get into that. Mm. I ain't going to get into that. How did she know that? There's always been a constant relationship between Ethiopia uh -huh, and Israel. If you study the history, you will know it means some good and some bad between the two of them. But they, are, they know each other. Amen? Amen? That's all I'm going to say. We're not talking about that today, but that's what you need to understand. When people come telling you about, oh, you know, you need to know your black history. No, you need to, you need to know the history of the Bible teaching. Amen. I don't need to know your history. Mm -hmm. Your history is going to be tainted with hate. I want to know the true history that's going to free me from hate. Amen. I don't need to know what you what you trying to tell me. What you trying to sell me. Let me tell you what the Bible trying to sell you. Hope. True hope. We don't need to uh, look at our color and look at how you know we need to be defined. The Bible defined us already. We are great people. Amen. Amen. Black, white, and green. We are the great people. Why? Because we are under Christ. When you start getting the differential color, then you it's separating things. Amen? Yep. Amen. Unity come where we all unite. When all the colors unite. Amen. See, the devil don't want that. The devil won't keep us divided. Divided, you are easily conquered. Amen. United, you are difficult to conquer. You become now the advanced army to destroy the wickedness that's in the land. Amen? Come on, my brother. Because the Lord loved Israel forever, uh -huh. therefore made he the king to do judgment and justice. Okay, so she recognized that. That's a praise. That's a praise, amen? amen. She recognized that Solomon is a true king. So she was getting in intel. She was learning how to govern her people, amen? amen. But let me, let me say this to you. True love will em emancipate you. Which means it will release you, amen? amen? From bondage and slavery from false ideology and fables. That's what we are learning today. To be free from restraint is to, be, is to remove the restraint of hate and false suspicion. That is why it's in the mind of all races. Suspicion. I'm suspicious about you. You're suspicious about me. And we can't get along because what you heard about me and what I heard about you, I don't trust you. You don't trust me. Mm -hmm. But they would have told you to say, trust me. <laughs> to establish peace and, and, and true freedom, we need to embrace what God taught Solomon. Everything is equal if you do that which is right. You can receive. But if you're not doing that which is right, how can you receive from me uh -huh, that belongs to me, my, my material, my wealth, and I'm going to give it to you because you feel you're poor? That's your problem. Go get an education and learn. Edu help yourself. What we need people to keep telling us, oh, you know, you could do right. You're going to be all right. And then you stay in the same position five years. <coughs> no, you need to get yourself up. Amen? And ask God to lead you in the right direction so you could be successful. Amen? Mm -hmm. And this is what the queen did. I want to be successful. 
I've learned of you. I, I, I understand what you're saying. I want to be su successful. Amen? I want to have great ability like you have great ability to rule your people. That's all she came there for. She didn't come there for sex. Amen. We read in too far into the story. Because, see, we were trying to fit this religion that we started. See, Rastafarianism, they're trying to fit this religion that we started. We have to have some type of bloodline. Something to give us some type of relevancy. We need something. Something. So we are believing a lie just to have that something. I invested my years of my life invested in something that was a lie. I could have went to hell if I would have died. And no people like to hear that word, but it's true. Hell is real. Amen? Amen. I could have went there, but God, in his infinite wisdom, saw that this boy that had no knowledge and no sense. He said, you know something? I'm going to go save them. And release them from this fable. This fantasy. Stuck in, in, in the land of fantasy. Amen? Amen? God is a good God. Amen. So what we got up there now? Come on, talk to me. According to what? According to the Rastafari yes, belief sir. of this meaning, yes. they believe that a sexual union took place between King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Wait a minute. True shakes the foundation of lies and deception. Lies and deception operate under weakness and incompetency. You see what's happening? We're going to find out that there are lies that need to be exposed. Amen? Come on. According to their traditions, uh -huh. this will also make him a descendant of King David. According which, to their you see what I just said earlier? Amen. Okay. Which makes Emperor Selassie a king. Made him a king because of some crazy understanding that they had a union. So that made him a king now. God never said he was a king. He made himself a king. God never came out of the cloud and said, you are king. <laughs> Man made himself king. But don't think of this thing strange. All this happened in the Garden of Eden. Where Lucifer or Satan spoke to Eve and said, if you eat this fruit, you shall be like God. So all Alice Selassie is doing is being that which Satan said you could be. Be like God. Amen. That's all false Christ are. They try to usurp Christ's authority and be like him. Amen. And assume his position as anointing and his throne. But God said, I'm a jealous God. And I don't share my throne with no man or no one. So right now, Heli Selassie is serving life sentence in a tomb. Not on a throne. This is coming from my ex Rastafari. I invest in my life. So I'm, I, I believe I'm, I should be able to say what I'm saying. Amen. Nobody can tell me, oh, no, no, no. I, I, I can say what I'm saying. I can see if you never was one and you're talking. But I invest in my life. You got to think about that. I could have been in, in the same place where he's at. Amen. Worshiping my leader. In hell. Let's be honest. People don't like this. I know they don't like it. And I know people hate me for saying what I'm saying. But let's wake up and see the truth. Before it's too late. Amen. That's what I did. I saw the truth before it was too late. God is not playing. He ain't about your fables. And your tricks and your games. He's about the truth. And that's what I wanted. And that's why he delivered me. Because I, because I wanted the truth. Amen? Come on, my brother. The purpose of the Queen of Sheba's visit was to satisfy her curiosity. To do what? The purpose of Queen Sheba's visit was mm. to satisfy her curiosity. Wow, was that sound like I come to have sexual union with you? Absolutely oh. not. Like I said, we can assume that lady could be in love, man in love with the king. The king, you know, of Ethiopia. He could be madly in love with him. Who knows? We don't know. We don't know. But that don't mean that because I come to, to learn something from you, that means I have to have a desire for you? Come on. Why everything that be pornography? Mm. <laughs> Let's 
be, let's be honest. Can something be just natural and, and clean? Amen. Why do we have to read into things so deep just to create something? Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, let's be honest. She heard of Solomon's great ability to understand deep things and came for his wisdom. She came to prove if Solomon indeed was the great man of wisdom as reported. She came to receive instruction from Solomon so she can govern her kingdom by wisdom. You see, an incompetent mind, <laughs> they lack quality of understanding. So you'll believe anything. Amen? Amen? I was in that stage of faith when I was a Rastafari. I did not know. I was in ignorance. Amen? I really believe what they were saying. Truthfully. And there's people now that other than, uh, uh, believe that it's in the same position. They really believe. See, belief is, is powerful. I don't know if you understand that. But belief is very, very powerful. Because you put your mind, your heart, your soul in it. So when you begin to hear the truth, it shakes you. Because like you don't want to believe it. You want to keep living in a fantasy. Amen? It's like you're constantly tripping, you know? That is what happened when you go into false belief system. You really believe it and you put your heart and soul into it. And there's many right now who are in this system. Amen? Amen. I have a little surprise for you. Uh, mm, mm, mm. We're going to deal right now with the fallacy and the fable that the nation of Islam endorses. They endorse fables that is also built upon Solomon. I have the other brother read that for you, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, know. I, I know that's that's above your pay grade. You stick to the Bible's eye. Because the reason I said that, because we're getting ready to go into the Quran. We're going to go into the book that they read, that they'll be reading. Amen? Amen. Okay? The noble Quran. Amen? The Quran. Amen? Amen. And we're going to get into things that is not, this is their book. And it's kind of strange to be using their book to prove their fables. <laughs> that's kind of awkward. But that's okay. I'm good at that. I like that. Because I want people to see that the lies that can be exposed even in their books. I'm not a hater of anyone. I'm just a seeker of truth. Amen? Amen. And if there's truth to be found, me and my, uh, I would say, researcher, we will be looking for the truth. And today you're going to know some things that is, you're going to learn something that is very strange. How come... In Rastafari, there is Solomon and Queen of Sheba. I just explained my side of it, okay? The sexual union. Now you're going to hear about the nation of Islam side of it. And it may shake you a little bit. And I want you to have an open heart and open mind. Amen? Amen. Are you ready, my brother? Amen. Nation of Islam endorses Solomon's fable. Surah 27, Ayahs 16 to 24. And Solomon succeeded David. He said, O oh people, we were taught the language of birds, and we were given from everything. This is indeed a real blessing. To the service of Solomon were mobilized his troops of jinn and men and birds. Jinn mean spirit or fallen, I would say fallen angel according to them. Amen? Amen. All held in strict order until when they came upon the valley of ants. An ant said, O oh, ants, go into your nest, lest Solomon and his troops crush you without noticing. He smiled and laughed at her now, words. This is Sura. I, I got to make it clear. This is Sura. So people who have been listening, this is Quran, Sura 27, verse 16 to verse 24. Sura and Haya mean verse. Sura mean chapter, Haya mean verse. Okay? You can read my brother. I want to make that clear. Mm -hmm. My Lord, direct me to be thankful for the blessings you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and to do good works that please you, and admit me by your grace into the company of your virtuous servants. 
Then he inspected the birds and said, Why do I not see the hoopah? Or is he among the absentees? I will punish him most severely or slay him unless he gives me a valid excuse. But he did not stay for long. He said, I have learned something you did not know. I have come to you from Sheba with reliable information. I found a woman ruling over them and she was given of everything and she has a magnificent throne. I found her and her people worshiping the sun instead of God. Satan made their conduct appear good to them and diverted them from the path. So they are not guided. I of 44. It was said to her, the Queen of Sheba, go inside the palace. And when she saw it, she thought it was a deep pond and she bared her legs. He said, it is a palace paved with glass. She said, my Lord, I have done wrong to myself and I have submitted with Solomon to God, Lord of the worlds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't warn you, didn't I? Amen. Now, what is this story saying? Why would Solomon speak into, why would he have an army of birds? <laughs> why would Solomon speak into ants? I didn't know Solomon could speak to ants. That's not in the Bible. Amen? That sounds to me like a, to me anyway, reading it, no disrespect. <laughs> Sound like a story I would tell my child. Exactly. That is what I was looking at. But this is the word of the Holy Quran. The eternal word of Allah. Why would this be in the eternal word? So, you know, no, no, no understanding to it. I'm trying to figure it out. Why is it? Solomon talking to birds and talking to ants. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm not, I'm not being, you know, it, look, we're not here to judge anyone. But if you if you if, if it's in a book, then you own it. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm saying. Amen. You can't get mad at anyone. You put in the book, you own it. You should have went through the book first, and then whatever you see that's not proper, take it out. Amen. Don't put in the book and think somebody ain't gonna discover it. Amen. Yeah. Now, let's be real. Amen. 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 God doesn't hide nothing in the, in, in the 66 books that he had. He know David committed adultery. He, he let us know. Amen. 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 He didn't take it out. He let us know. Amen. So, I believe that God allowed him to leave that in there to teach a moral lesson, I guess. I don't know what kind of moral lesson is it going to teach anyone when you're talking to ants and bird. <laughs> Then you have an army of jinns, you have an army of demons and men. That's their understanding of things, not mine. Amen? That's what they believe. I see it as a fable. They may see it as truth. I see it as a fable. Amen? Amen. Now, why does Solomon has to Create a glass. Palm. Amen? Why does Solomon have to create a glass? Palm. The reason why is that there is a myth that Queen of Sheba had goat legs. What? That was the myth. Mm. I'm just telling you, that's the myth. That's what I discovered. Me and my researcher. That's what we discovered. Here. Amen? That's the reason she bear a leg. So yeah. we're going to show you that the source where they get this from, you, listen, I'm just being honest. I'll tell you the source where they get this from. I'm about to finish it up next week, but I'll tell you the source where they get this from. The influence of Jewish fables. The Targum is a translation of the Hebrew Bible into Aramaic. The Targum is a translation of the Hebrew Bible. What is the Hebrew Bible story apocrypha doing in the Quran? They need to explain that one. The Targum of Esther is also known as the Targum Shani. 
The Targums contain some fictitious and legends not supported by Hebrew Bible. It, does, it don't even it's not even supported by the Jews. It was a it was stories that were spoken by the Jews to their children. But this is a strange thing. Why are you calling Jew the devil, but then you're reading the devil's story? Amen. 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 Why? Why? Why is it? You do not know? You be careful by labeling somebody. He's going to come back and bite you. Amen. Now they're stuck with this. How they gonna fix that? That's their business, not mine. Mm. Go ahead. Legends and myths, which are fictitious commentary, which are not considered divine revelation. They are not considered divine. This is not a true story. <laughs> you get it? Even the Jew knows not a true a, 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 a true story. Amen? Amen. Come on, my brother. The Targum is responsible for creating the fables of Solomon and the Queen of Sheba that the nation of Islam and Rastafari incorporated into their doctrine. You see, this is where it, it, it gets very sticky for me. The fable stated that the Queen of Sheba was a hybrid goat creature. The purpose of the Queen beard her legs in Solomon's temple was to see if the myth was true, was true. Solomon created a deep pond made of glass to see, to, to see she was gonna, you know, be her legs, to see. <laughs> Solomon wanted to see, amen? So she had to pick up her dress. So, so when you pick up your dress, they can see if you got a hoof foot. <laughs> I'm just telling you why he created a glass, pond. Amen? Amen? Amen. Solomon wanted to, to see her legs to if, if it's a look. That's why he did it. Why should people who support blacks endure that a black queen has to be an animal? Amen. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Did it, did, they, they did not know about this fable? This myth? Stop quoting the Quran until you really read it. Amen. Leave our Bible alone and go learn your book. Amen. So you can know these fables ain't there, you learn how to deal with it. But I've learned through my study that's 85% of Muslims don't even read the Quran. Mm. Quran. That's true. So how are they gonna know this is in there? Here a Christian reading something you're supposed to be reading. Yeah. That that's that, that should not be. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. This violate our outlook on blacks. Amen? It, it makes blacks think twice. Why should even in the book that the nation of Islam believed in, we still are looked at as animals. Why? Why? This not, listen, I'm ending with this. This not Islamophobia. This is knowing the truth phobia. I want to know the truth. I got a right to know the truth. Don't speak for me if you ain't gonna tell the truth. Don't say it for black people and here you're allowing this to be. The same way you judge everyone else, you judge them the same way. Nobody get a pass. I don't get a pass, they don't get a pass. Nobody get a pass. Amen? Amen. That's what we need to, that's a, if you want true unity, let's unite under that. If, they, if you see racism in their, in their book, then you deal with the racist, racist, uh, racist uh, words that's in their book. And you come to terms with it. And you let people know this is racist stuff as well. Amen? Amen? Because I know if a lot of black folks would have known about this, they won't join no nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. I know people hate me right now. That's all right. I love them. Amen. Amen. Because I love the truth. Amen. Amen? Amen? I truly do love the truth.
Shrewd. Then what? Shrewd. And I'm going to end him with this. And this is, this is where I went deeper. See, the word Shiva means in the female name, in Arabic, origin. That means kingdom. Right? Mm -hmm. And it also means gift from Allah. How could this be a gift of, from Allah? And you calling a woman a goat woman. So you're getting a goat as a gift? Come on, man. Come on. Let's be real here. We're living in the 21st century. We're not dummies. Let's be honest here. Okay? Don't treat me like one. I ain't going to treat you like one. Tell the people the truth and let them decide. If God is God, then they will choose Jesus. If their God is God, then they will choose their God. But the problem is, is that truth outshine lies any day. Amen. Amen. Ex Stephane is saying this. God is a good God. We praise you and we magnify you, Jesus, for you are a true great king. And next time we're going to be dealing with uh, fake black Liberalists like Haley Selassie. We're going to go deeper into Haley Selassie yeah. and we're going to go into deeper into the Nation of Islam. They have to explain. It's a two black organization. They want to explain to an ex black Rastafarian why I am looking into their material and I'm finding things that they're supposed to be explaining to their people. Mm. Why is it that God have to put it on my heart to go through their book and to go through their system? Why you have to speak to me in the time of fasting and say, this is what I want you to do. He said, use your testimony and use these things I'm going to give you. And from the time he laid it on my heart to do this research, he been feeding me. I ain't talking about men. You don't understand what is happening. What has been driving me is God. That's why this is unique for me and for you. Because I didn't just wake up out of my bed to say, I want to expose the nation of Islam. I want to expose Rastafari. The Lord said, I place it upon you to do. And within you, I'm going to give you the wisdom to do it. So God is good. Time. And God of his mercy and his compassion for his people. God is great. God is great. God is great.